many of us here are uh, in a lot of stress. I know that it's a stressful time for, genuine stressful time for a lot of us. And so this Reiki today, the session today is really aimed at helping you to relax and get into that space of deeper trust, you know, that you are being guided. Uh, you will be guided to the right place. The stress is only a repetitive chatter in the mind, which comes up very naturally. It comes up very naturally for all of us at different times. But how we deal with it is totally in our hands, isn't it? So uh, let's just firstly try to align our body, relax ourselves. And then when we get into that space of alignment, what happens is that automatically we feel that trust because we feel so grounded and connected that the trust actually starts to come in. Stress is what? Stress is basically tension is what? It's like tensed how our body just becomes tensed when we tense it consciously during maybe a yoga session when we are you know doing a relaxation we are told to tense and then relax so a lot of times the this tension is already happening unconsciously in our nerves so let's scan our body let's consciously relax because whatever you need to do you need to have your full strength to deal with it isn't it so let's consciously try to relax let's consciously try to de-stress and uh, we'll go through our usual Reiki scanning with the Reiki light, knowing that it can really do wonders. It can really do wonders. And then when you're in that relaxed, comfortable, aligned space, all the guidance will come to you. You know, all the necessary information, guidance, everything will come to you so that you're able to handle that situation, that stressful situation with a, you know, with a greater sense of calm and peace and trust. Okay, so let's settle down in our spaces. Use this time, take this 40, 45 minutes to really de-stress yourself. Just give your body that, that relaxation. I know the mind is going to pop up for a lot of us and say, but it's such a gross situation. How can you be so relaxed? You, you, you know, you have to think, you have to plan. Of course, you have to do all that. But you can do that from a calm space also, isn't it? So let's respect this body. Let's not further abuse the body by our unconscious thoughts. If we can, let's try and align, relax, center the body, give it its due, you know, at this time, give it its due rest that it needs. And then let's see how things unfold. I, I'm absolutely sure that all of us who are going through stresses due to whatever might be the reason that one is going through, whether it is your uh, stress due to illness of yourself or somebody at home, your work, your job, career, finances, whatever it is everything will get sorted out just know that everything is in perfect divine order and the universe is always supporting you you just need to ask be in that trust and just surrender and if you can't do that ask for that ask the universe to help you to surrender to help you to trust and you will be guided okay so holding you all and your loved ones in our session today in this healing light, just allow yourselves firstly to totally relax. Whether you're on a chair, on the bed, on the ground, on the sofa, it doesn't matter. Just allow yourself as if you're dropping your body into the ground or onto the chair. Feeling that ease, that comfort as you connect to your body. Telling your body that this is the time for me to just connect with you and give you the rest that you fully, fully deserve. And let's connect to our guides and masters, angels, archangels, teachers, and gurus. Let's just fully surrender to them and tell them that I'm just in this situation which I really don't know how to handle. 
and know that they are very well that you are struggling or going through this little challenging time and that they are always there to support you but consciously acknowledge them ask for their presence invoking these guides and masters in the asking the teachers guru invoking the presence of our ek teachers dr usoy dr hayashi madam takata kurun and simandua ravini and rohit sir and then saying our attitude of gratitude for ourselves i thank myself for being here i thank vicky for being here i thank take your individual meaning and take a moment to include all those whom you know are in need of this healing it could be our grandparents our parents or any other elders our partners companions friends our children people at work the staff who works for us whoever you wish to include include them in this healing session right now just think of them hold their presence here and know that the healing light will definitely heal them and then let's connect to the light up above visualize this huge divine healing light coming down from the source coming in through the center of your head breathe this energy as it comes in through the crown pulling it down in between your eyebrows connecting to the third eye chakra allowing this light to pull down through your vishuddhi or throat chakra and bringing it into the center of your chest your energy is high breathe a couple of times as you connect to the unconditional love that lies here in your heart feel the slight connecting to this love and just as you receive it in your heart see that this light is covering your loved one whoever it may be and it can be more than one person see them receiving this light from the universe it is not your light or my light it is the divine reiki healing light and it goes wherever we ask it to go see this light coming out of the heart flowing in through your arms gently coming in through your reiki palm breathe as you gently connect to this healing light and then visualize this light going right down from your heart center through the lower three chakras through the root chakra through the soles of your feet right into the core of mother earth see the earth opening up as this light is carried through your body connecting you anchoring you grounding you to mother earth fully fully feel that connect breathe deeply into mother earth feel mother earth opening up to embrace you hold you ground you mother earth your biggest supporter Feel yourself nicely anchored in the lap of Mother Earth. Your awareness and this healing light anchoring you and grounding you.
And then let's pull up this healing light along with the energy of Mother Earth. Just pull it up through the center of the earth and bring it into your body. Know that your breath, your awareness can gently bring this energy along with all the healing powers to heal your body and that of your loved ones. As we receive this light, let's gently breathe out the cause of our stress, the cause of our tension. Just breathe it into Mother Earth. Know that Mother Earth has all the solutions. Like you say, Dera Tsuarpan, yours are true. And then pull up this healing light, allow it to come into your body to further anchor you, holding this light, allowing it to move up through your feet, your ankles, your calf muscles, wherever this light is moving, it is gently scanning and releasing any tightness through your knees, your thighs, your hips, your lower back, lower abdomen, stomach, and let's anchor this energy in the, in the center of our chest, anchoring it in this light of love. Breathing in and breathing out. As you receive this healing light in your palms, let's direct this light to our feet. All tiredness, physical tiredness, mental tiredness, Let's ask it to release the tightness from our feet, the tension, the tightness, the heaviness, the pain. Our feet, which allow us to stand and go through all that that we need to. So just see your feet, all your toes, the soles of your feet, fully covered with this healing light. And as you receive this light, those of you who know, you draw a little symbol and the others will just breathe into it. Just gently move your feet slightly to allow the energy to circulate, stretching your toes back and forth, allowing the energy, the healing light to gently relax every cell, every nerve, every part your feet. There may be days ahead where you are needed to stand more and more on your feet. So let's give it the strength and gently release the tightness and stiffness. Thank you.
Just be aware of the energy as it circulates in every, every part of your foot. From the little toe through the heel. And then pull up this healing energy, healing light into your ankles. Your balancing point. Slowly pull this energy up. As you feel your ankles nicely balanced, your feet and ankles allow you to stand upright and balance not just the physical body, anything that needs to be balanced in your life. And then pull up this energy. Allowing it to slowly move up through your calf muscles. Once again, just stretch your calf muscles. Just allow them to move with the help of your toes. See the light flowing through every cell, every nerve, every muscle, every bone in your calves, the back of our calves, the shins, sometimes really pain when we are tired of standing. So let's ask to ease that tiredness and the blood to flow through, the energy, the prana to flow through the entire calves. If you wish, as we are going through the healing, you can even keep your arms there or just take your awareness and utilize your feet on that body part and just stay healing. Those of you who know, keep drawing your Reiki symbols to amplify this healing. Feeling the relaxation, the tiredness gently releasing, and your calf muscles totally relaxing. Let's pull this energy up further. As we see our feet, our ankles, our calf muscles, relaxed and easy. Strengthening our legs further by covering the sight. And allowing it to fall on our knees. The knees, which are the shock absorbers of our body. No doubt that we hold all our fears here. So let's ask to ease the knee joint, allowing the energy to flow more smoothly with, with greater ease, with greater comfort. Releasing any tightness in the knee joint. See the prana moving all around. Keep throwing your Reiki symbols. 
it turns in the back of the knees. Seeing this healing light move through the knees, releasing any stiffness and tightness, any blocked energy. That is there in your knees. See your knees gently easing up, releasing the tightness, the stiffness that occurs sometimes in this cold. And then pull this healing light up through your thighs, giving you the strength in your entire legs to hold the weight of the body and to stand straight to deal with all that that is needed. As you allow this light to cover your entire legs, let's see the legs of our loved ones totally receiving this healing light. See this beautiful circle of light covering your entire lower body. Continue to pull up this light and cover your entire pelvic region your hip joints. Many of these joints get stiff and tight, particularly in this weather, in this cold. And also there's a lack of activity due to the weather and various other reasons. So let's ask this healing light to gently flow, flow through your hips. Once again, releasing tightness, bringing in energy, flexibility, strength to your hip joints, your pelvic region. And in the process, balancing the muladhar, the root chakra, the extension of Mother Earth. Keep breathing. Turn your AP symbols, keep receiving this healing light. See this foundation, Muladhar Chakra, at the base of your spine. Receiving this healing light, resolving all fears and insecurities. Shining bright, red in color. helping you to further ground and be in deep trust and surrender. Just see your Legs totally relaxed. 
as we allow this relaxation with this healing light to spread on your lower back, just above your hips, focus on your lower back. Release the tightness, consciously move it and release the tightness there. A lot of our insecurities, anxiety, resides in this lower back and lower abdomen. Particularly financial insecurities. Let's ask the ceiling back to gently relax our lower back. You just see that entire band of light on your lower back going into every cell, every nerve, every muscle, having fresh energy, fresh prana, releasing any tiredness, any fitness out there. And allow this light to circulate from the lower back, coming to the lower abdomen, the area below the navel, covering the entire Swadeshtan Tattva. The emotional center from where a lot of our fears and anxieties and stresses arise. To see this healing light falling on your lower abdomen, balancing the Swadeshtan. And then breathing and pulling this energy up through our entire abdomen. All the organs of digestion, all the other organs that lie in here. Covering the area right up to the upper part of the stomach, up to the Manipura Chakra. See all the churning and gurgling of energy and acid that arises more. It's a resistance that comes from within. The inability to digest all that that is happening in your life today it seems too much to handle. Just surrender it to this healing light. Knowing that everything is being taken care of. Feel the churning in your stomach. And as the churning occurs, there's the anxiety, the anger, the bitterness, the resistance to what is happening arises here. Gently allow this feeling like this freaky energy to totally dissolve that. Coming into a space of deep acceptance of what is. knowing that it is all in perfect divine order. All is in perfect divine order.
pull this energy up and consciously relax your chest. There's so much heaviness in your chest. Take a deep breath and slowly release, allowing this light to cover your entire chest, your heart chakra, and your chest. Breathe deep. The stress doesn't even allow you to take deep breaths. So be aware of every breath as you fill up your entire lungs and gently release. Allowing the light to flow in with each breath deep, deep into the lungs and gently relaxing. Just breathe deep as you cover your entire chest and feel this light releasing any heaviness from your chest and from your heart. All emotions of sadness, grief, hurt, regret, all are felt here in the heart. Just breathe them out with this feeling light. Knowing that at every time you're doing your best, totally relax your chest and see it shining bright with this healing light. Your heart smiling, pumping blood, pumping joy, pumping life through your entire body. See this blood circulating through your entire body. Take your awareness back to your lower back and now feel this light moving up through your entire back. Consciously move your back, releasing any tightness, any stiffness as this light moves up through your middle back and your upper back. From the base of your spine right up through the base of your neck. Just consciously relax. See this healing light moving through your middle back, releasing any guilt that tightens up our middle back. Release that guilt. Know that you're just perfect the way you are and you're doing your absolute best. The universe always supports you and has your back. Just feel this light moving up every vertebra from the base of your spine, slowly, slowly, slowly. 
keep doing your Reiki fingers and keep allowing this light to relax every vertebra. Moving up slowly, slowly, slowly from the tailbone right up to the base of the neck. And then let's shift our focus to the part that carries all the stress. So just keep your awareness on your shoulders. Take a deep breath to squeeze and tighten your shoulders and gently relax. Just pull your shoulders down, relaxing and releasing all the stresses into Mother Earth, into this healing light. Consciously move your shoulders and pull them down. You don't need to carry any stress and you're not responsible for anybody. Just allow everybody to take responsibility for yourself and know that the universe is taking care of all your responsibilities. See the light gently traveling through both your shoulders, through your upper arms, relaxing your upper arms, your elbows, your forearms, your wrists and your fingers. Take a moment to gently relax. Loosen up your arms, your shoulders, right up to your little fingers. And allow this light as it releases the tightness from your shoulders. Gently allow this lightness to flow through your neck, your throat. Move your neck if you need to. Move it up and down, side to side, releasing any tightness, any stiffness. Consciously letting go of any tightness in your neck. Just move your neck side to side, opening your perspective, opening your, broadening your horizon, your perspective. And allowing yourself to look at things and look at life with a bigger perspective. And just allow this light to go from the back of your neck all through the back of your head where we feel so much tightness and stress, so much tension that is held in the nerve, in your head, the back of your head. Just visualize that there is a constant flow of energy releasing the tightness. See the entire back of your head from the base of your neck right up to your the upper part of your forehead, the back of your head, your lobe. Totally eased up. Breathe into it as you allow the light to ease up any tightness, any heaviness. 
and then allow this light to flow on your forehead. Consciously relieve any wrinkles, any stresses in your forehead. Just relax. See your third eye in between your eyebrows, receiving this healing light. Breathe into any pain in your forehead, in your temples. Breathe into your eyes, the sockets and the area behind your eyes with pain, with stress. Just feel the loving healing light. Feel the touch of some loving healing hands of your divine angels gently covering your eyes, your forehead. Releasing the tightness, the heaviness from your temples, your eyes and your forehead. Your eyes gently relaxing. Consciously take your awareness to your eyes, releasing the heaviness there, and then allowing the light to cover your cheeks, your sinuses. A lot of us are suffering from cold or heaviness, congestion in our sinus. The past is released it now from the face. Covering the nose, the cheeks. Easing out tightness and stiffness that lies there. Dete te pele. And then allow this ease, this lightness to spread through your jaws. We clench our teeth or our jaws a lot of times under stress. So consciously relax your jawline, easing out any stiffness, any tightness that lies there. Coming down to our throat chakra, the Vishuddhi chakra. Opening up the throat, allowing us to take responsibility and speak up for ourselves. Releasing anything that suffocates us, for it does not need to be suppressed inside. Just let it go to this healing light. Connecting you to the truth of who you really are. See this light falling at the base of your neck in the front, covering your thyroid and thymus glands, your immunity glands. Let's ask these glands to really protect us and raise our body immunity, helping us to cope physically, mentally, emotionally with all that that we need to. Draw your Reiki symbols if you know on your thyroid timers at the base of your neck. Giving you the protection and strength to deal with all that that you need. Right. 
And now take a moment to scan your entire body from the top of your head, from your crown, all through the head, the forehead, the face, the front and the back of the neck, the shoulders, the arms, right up to your little finger, the chest, the upper back, the middle back, the stomach, the kidneys, the lower back, lower abdomen, covering the spleen, the pancreas, the liver, the gallbladder, the intestines, all are open for reproduction, excretion, scanning down through the hip joints, the pelvic joint, the hips, through the thighs, as if you're washing the energy down, scanning through the thighs, the knees, the calves, the ankles, and the feet, right up to the toe. If there's any part of your body that is stiff or tight, just take your awareness there, breathe into it, and sweep the pain, the discomfort, down into Mother Earth, through your breath. If there's any thought, anything that is still knocking and troubling you, just take this thought and breathe it down into my body. Breathe in peace. Breathe in trust. Breathe in faith. Breathe in joy. Breathe in love. Now see your entire body totally shining and radiating this healing light. Full of trust, full of joy, full of faith. There is no place for any stress or tension. Totally relaxed. Opening every cell to this healing light. Seeing every cell, every atom, every subatomic particle of your body shining, smiling, Joyous to have received this healing light. Thanking you and expressing gratitude for you for showering this healing light on it. So as we get into the space of gratitude, let's join our hands in our attitude of gratitude. I thank myself for being here. I thank Vicky for being here. I thank people in the children. Let's take a moment to thank all those whom we included in our healing prayers today. May this healing light continue to flow to them, flow through you wherever it is needed. Let's thank all our AP teachers and masters. All our guides and angels, archangels. All our friends in the spiritual realm. Thanking all of us present here for creating this Reiki energy to heal ourselves and all our loved ones. Taking a nice deep breath of gratitude, gently rubbing your palms and lovingly feeling your entire body, stretching your toes, moving your fingers. Very slowly and gently. Just open your eyes. Thank you, thank you, thank you.